بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello and welcome my dear students to our lesson of today which is going to be about 4B Only time will tell from the book Traveler 2 This lesson is for the first secondary stage from the second semester prepared by Amna Madkhili and presented by Yasir al -Nakhli. Today inshallah we will make predictions about the future we will express obligation and ability in the future. We will practice well for predictions. We'll have to. We'll be able to practice expressions with make. Warm up. What do you know about the following? IBM, the Wright Brothers, Rockets, and TV. Do you know anything about them? Very good. Now let's go to read. Read the text quickly and choose the most suitable introduction for it. A, B, or C. Of course, after reading the text. 4B. Only time will tell. 1. Reading. Man will not fly for 50 years. Wilbur Wright to his brother Orville, 1901. In 1901, the Wright brothers tried out their flying machine for the first time, but were very disappointed when they didn't succeed. However, two years later, in 1903, they took to the skies and entered the history books. And only 18 years after Wilbur made his prediction, Captain John Alcock and Lieutenant Arthur Witten Brown made the first non-stop transatlantic flight from Newfoundland, Canada, to Ireland. I think there's a world market for about five computers. Thomas J. Watson, Chairman of the Board of IBM, 1943. This prediction seems ridiculous today, but it was true for 10 years after Watson said it. Even so, today there are about 1 billion computers in use in the world. Experts predict there will be 2 billion by 2015. Television won't last because people will soon get tired of staring at a plywood box every night. Daryl Zanuck, 1946. Zanuck definitely got it wrong about television. The total number of TV sets in the world is over 1.5 billion. In the USA, where the TV plays a major role in everyday life, there are over 2,000 TV channels, and on average, a TV set is on for 6 hours and 47 minutes every day. A rocket will never be able to leave the Earth's atmosphere. New York Times, 1936. At the time, it was hard to imagine that sending a rocket into space would be possible. However, some years later, the first unmanned rocket left the Earth's atmosphere. Not only that, but in the next years it was possible to send humans to space. Most people know Yuri Gagarin, the first human in outer space, 1961, and Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon, 1969. Okay, very good. Now read text quickly and choose the most suitable introduction. And the answer is B. With the world changing so quickly, it is very difficult to make correct predictions about the future. Some people get it right, others get it wrong. Some people, however, are a longer way off. Here are a few examples. Now, write T for true or for F for false. Okay, let's check our answers. Number one, F. Number two, F. Number three, true. Number four, false. Number five, true. Number six, true. And number seven, false. C. Look at the highlighted words in the text and match them with the meanings from A to F. Let's start with disappointing. E. Unhappy because something did not happen. C. Succeed. B. Not fail. 
number three ridiculous with if very silly four predict d say that something will happen in the future five last goes with c continue to exist number six major which is a a very large or important complete the sentences with the correct form of the expressions in the box make mistakes make decision make plans make sure make money make prediction make a phone call these are the sentences try to complete it with the expressions with make Okay, let's check our answers number one make a decision number two made the plans three make a phone call number four make sure number five make predictions number six makes mistakes Number seven, make money. Read the examples. What do the phrases in bold express? Man will not fly for 50 years. Television won't last because people will soon get tired of it. Okay, now read the examples below. Which of the verbs in bold means must and which means will manage to? Trevor finished this assignment so he will be able to go out tonight. George gave me some money, but I will have to base him back by Monday. Okay, we'll have to express his obligation in the future. We will have to train hard to take part in the race. We'll be able to express his ability in the future. When I go to Spain, I will be able to practice my Spanish. Okay, now practice. Complete the dialogues with will, want, will, have to, will be able to, or won't be able to. Okay, let's check our answers. We won't be able to use it. B. Then we will have to take the stairs. With all these heavy bags, I won't be able to do it. Yes, you will. I live on the second floor. All right, then. Number two. What do you think about flying cars? Well, there won't be any in our lifetime that's for sure why not I don't think scientists won't be able to create them soon anyway they will be too dangerous you think so yeah people will drive them and there will be accidents all the time maybe you are right Okay, now evaluation. Complete the dialogue with the words in the box. There are two extra words which you do not need to use. Disappointed, sure, decision, ridiculous, major, fail, mistake, and television. Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, major, two, television. 3. Decision 4. Fail 5. Ridiculous and number 6. Sure Okay, today we learned how to make predictions about the future how to express obligation and ability in the future how to practice well for predictions we'll have to, we'll be able to 
and finally we practice expressions with make these are the references traveler to students book workbook teacher's guide for more information and listen please do not hesitate to call us on our website our twitter account or our phone number thank you and hope to see you again wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh